Hello everybody, today we are going to speak about how to create this level map just in a few minutes So this is normal static mesh, so we will create all of this uh, complicated level map So just in a few uh, minutes Before we start, don't forget to subscribe for my channel and like for my video and let's get started First of all, we need to uh, go to a new level and create basic level so this is the empty level map after that after that we need to create new folder for example a test so this is our uh, empty folder after that we need to create blueprint class so actor test zero one okay double click so now we need to create sp line so if right here sp line just sp line so if you go to this area we need to tag and add for example test zero five okay Compile, but make sure don't forget this name test05 or SP line or as you like copy save and the close okay next step we need to create BCG graph so if you didn't find this BCG graph make sure go to edit and uh, plugin and Bro said URL generation framework. Okay, check it and restart Unreal, and you'll see this one. Okay, right click BCG BCG graph. So maybe we can make it, for example, elevator or anything. So double click. So this is input and output. Okay, we don't need any of them, just we need to make get. SP line data okay this one so uh, actor filter now we need all wallet actor so if you remember we have actor selecting uh, selection tag this one we need to make it test 05 okay the same name of our SP line okay now we need to make now we need to make sp line sampler sp line sampler after that we need to make here this subdivision we need to make distance so we need to make gap between every mesh because we need to make it sp line we can use it for any mesh after that we uh, we can use this distance between uh, every mesh so now we need to make a static mesh spawner so save after that we need to add our mesh uh, you can create for example any uh, cube from here or you can insert any static mesh from uh, any uh, website uh, or from marketplace so i have uh, this model this is a static mesh okay this is normal static mesh okay this one i will download uh, i will connect this one to our static mesh so just what i'm going to do now we need to go to this area elevator and uh, select our static mesh here index after that we need to add our uh, mesh drag and drop here now we need to insert our sp line so if you come to um, test and ins uh, drag and drop our sp line if you look here so you will see this point we need to make here alt drag and drop and draw anything so 
here there is nothing happened why we connect everything is good but we need to drag and drop our bcg here so if you come here you will see our static mesh so this point is so small we need to make different between scale uh, so just we need to make come here and transform okay transform point and we need to disconnect it control and left mouse and come to this area now we need to make control for this scale just here scale minimum for example six and uh, maybe nine or ten or anything okay now if you look here this is between each other so the size is good but the distance is uh, not good so we need to make different uh, uh, so we need to make distance so if you come to sp line sampler we will see distance here maybe we can make it 300 okay you will see now it's working nice okay maybe we can for example come to this area and uh, make play for for example now okay nice okay now what i'm going to do now we need to make this one here and we can like that okay maybe we can draw alt and make come to this area maybe here and make everything okay sorry so if you look here for example maybe we will disconnect everything just you need to come to this area just to move it a little bit okay now we will come to this area okay nice remove and now we are going to change uh, the uh, make difference between material so now here come here now okay nice make sure we have, don't have conflict to this area so now we have nice shapes but we need to make a variation between uh, each material so how can we do that but i think here distance we need to uh, inc uh, decrease it a little bit so distance maybe we can do five and 205 okay nice so maybe we can play our start point we need to make it start from this point nice okay so if you didn't see the our point we need to make this wireframe so you will see this point here make it like that and maybe this one this is end point okay nice so go to normal let mode play so nice but we need to make variation between so maybe you can come to this area 
and maybe you can duplicate it again for example like that make more complicated sequence okay so now what i'm going to do now we need to make variation for this uh, material so is this uh, all of them they are the same we need to make change so uh, maybe we can come to this area st static mesh here so we can make here another one so copy this model and we need to come to this area paste but we need to come to this area we will see here override material so we can choose for example any material any material now if you look here we have different material between each other so maybe we can make it or you can add another mesh um so now for example the same mesh or we can override material which one here from override material choose for example this material save and close so we have different material for each one so you can increase and decrease for example um, as you like now we will start from this point look now we have different material and you can add here anything as you like for example maybe this material water material so you can add here uh, any material as you like for example here and we can start from this area now you can start your game and make complicated game like roblox or something like that maybe like that so all of this just as we can create your complicated game now everything is working amazing we can make a variation between light control l so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe for my channel and like for my video and see you in the next video take care salam alaikum